Hi, this is David Burns at Long Lane Honeybee Farms, and today we're going to show you our top bar hive. This is our first year to make a top bar hive. We do make these, and we're going to show you how well they work. And uh, the top bar hive is different than a Langstroth hive. It has a, ours have a large peak roof on them to set that down. And then the bees are contained within some following boards. And I'll show you how this works is that there's an end to the hive and it's based on this board that we make. So if we open up this board, this is where the hive begins. And we can move this further and further back to give them more room. So we have space now for the bees to continue to grow off of each of these frames. But a top bar hive is simply a hive that doesn't have any foundation all it has is a top bar <coughs> and these top bars is where the bees will build their comb and now we're going toward the nest area so our first new frame uh, has a little bit of comb on it and um, you can see that it has a little bit there and then our second comb is going to be a little bit bigger and simply, some people think that the, the combs will stick to the wall, and mine haven't. They're stuck to each other like this one is. And as soon as I peel it away, it's never stuck to the wall. It's just built kind of nicely there. And the proper way to handle a top bar frame is never to hold it sideways. You have to lift it up, keep it facing up, and when you get it this way, you can keep the comb with the bottom facing up toward the sky. And then you can look for the queen and see what kind of laying pattern you have. Get ready to put it back in. Don't turn it sideways. Keep it on the same vertical plane. And then we can keep uh, going further back and look at each comb just by picking it up like we did the last one. Keep it straight. And as you can see how beautiful that comb is. And the queen in this colony is actually marked with a white dot, and we might keep an eye out on her. We'll put this one back. A lot of people use top bar hives because they feel that it's a little bit more natural for the bees to build their own comb, and that's kind of debatable. I guess in some ways the uh, a Langstroth hive, if you wanted to, you could leave the foundation out and let them draw their own comb too. The comb gets bigger as we head toward the back of the colony, uh, back deeper into the nest area. And as you can see, there's a very good laying pattern of, of brood on this frame. She's, the queen's doing a great job on both sides of this. The actual uh, comb is very strong on these top bars. We believe in using just a wooden strip with a little bit of wax coating on it. We don't use foundation because we feel that if we do, they may not attach the comb to the top bar. They may only attach it to the foundation. So doing it this way makes a real strong comb. You can see how perfectly the bees have made this a nice, a nice uh, triangular shaped comb. It's a very nice uh, colony to work, actually. It seems to be easy. I'm going to show you a few things that I don't like about what the bees do, and, um, and I'll show you what to do about it. As we go back, the comb gets even bigger. Look at that. It's a beautiful comb. Bees have pollen on their back legs. Working good today. They're bringing in a lot of clover, and they've got some clover pollen. Still looking for the queen, don't see her yet. Now back here, one of these frames, I actually um, put in a new frame that didn't have any comb on it, so it's gonna be smaller when we find it. Might very well be this one. Yep. You can see how the bees are festooning, they're hanging on to each other as they attempt to make uh, this comb drawn out. 
they're doing a good job. I put this comb on there about five days ago. So they've done this much comb building on this frame in just five days. Very nice. And that's why that frame is a little smaller than this one that's right beside it. And part of the brood nest area, you'll see that it's a much bigger comb. It's been there longer, you see. That's good brood, good uh, larva. And looks like the bees have some, some good nectar in there as well. It's harder to find this particular queen because uh, the white paint has kind of rubbed off of her back. The bees rub it off. Um, I saw her the other day when we were on Fox News filming this. Uh, this, this hive here has actually been on Fox News. <laughs> and the bees were very uh, photogenic that day, even though it was raining a little bit. But uh, isn't that just the perfect shaped comb for a top bar hive? Look at that. It has the same angle as the top bar hive does. Perfect. We'll look at one more. Give me a little room to work. I'm still going to show you in just a minute what I don't like about a top bar hive. And uh, it's just a, a small infraction, nothing to keep you from keeping a top bar hive. So don't let me forget to show you that. Okay, well the queen is in there, but we didn't really uh, identify her right off the bat. The part of the top bar hive that's a little tricky is when you open it up and then you want to close it, the bees will come up between these top bars because as you can see, they, they fit tightly together and a Langstroth has ears on it that will keep uh, the bees from getting in between the two pieces. So what I try to do to run the bees back down so that I can close this up is simply just smoke the top and run the bees back down. And it, and it works pretty good. You'll lose a few bees here and there when you smash things back together. But on a top bar hive, these, these frames have to be close together again. That's the part that's a little trickier for me. It's just getting these back, getting the bees to get out of the way so that you can close it up. And maybe somebody has a better uh, solution. I think you can pull one at a time out and keep, uh, that's what I've read that a lot of people like about it, is that you can just pull one frame out at a time and you don't have to open each frame up. That may allow you to, to not have to allow bees to come up between each frame. It's not really that bad, it's just a little bit. So these bees continue to grow as you see, they're just continuing to make their way back that way. And here's our last little comb that they're working, farthest away from the nest area back here. And so we want to try to make all these combs really tight. And uh, here's an example of the, the combs that we use. They're actually just little wooden strips called, I think they're splines, that's what the proper name is. And then we coat it with wax, and the bees build off of that spline. And we're going to close it up. We're going to put our follower board back in, probably about right here, giving them room to grow. This is the follower board. It just keeps the bees in one area. And since they are, I'm going to knock this hole out to give them a little bit more room. 
to come in and out another door. Maybe that will help them speed things along. And now we put our top back on and we're done. That, that's a, a top bar hive. They're a lot of fun. I would think that anybody that enjoys beekeeping would want to keep a top bar hive just for fun. Um, there's, it's not a perfect way to make honey. Honey can be extracted from a top bar hive. It's a little trickier. Um, but the bees really are growing well and um, doing well. One more thing I want to show you is that on this one we make a, a way to put a, a um, to seal off the screen bottom board. And I like it because it allows, it gives me a chance to look at what the bees are dropping. And you know, you can count mites or you can kind of look to see what they're doing. And uh, here we see a typical uh, deposit of what's above. Uh, basically, it's just some pollen droppings, a little bit of wax cappings, some flies <laughs> that have landed there. But uh, if you wanted to seal it off in the winter or if you wanted to do a mite count, you could certainly do that, but that's that's a healthy looking hive. We just have pollen and wax uh, particles on the bottom. I'm going to leave this off. So if you're interested in a top bar hive, check us out and we'll be happy to, to, to get you going on a top bar hive.